Bless the door mission fast everybody. Welcome to the video series Fast Food for Fast Times. This series is for people who want to fast but think it's too hard or they're too time poor to prepare the meals. There are so many recipes that we can teach you but these ones are specifically those easy ones that you can do if you're a student, a worker or a parent who wants to fast but has to prepare so many meals for their families. So why do we fast? We'll talk about that in a future episode. What feast does this fast lead to? Well, that is the Dormition of the Theotokos, which is celebrated on August the 15th. The Dormition is the last major feast day of the church calendar, which starts in September with the first major feast day being the birth of the Theotokos. Dormition means falling asleep. And Theotokos is the God bearer the Virgin Mary, the Mother of God. So on this feast day, we celebrate or commemorate the falling asleep of the Virgin Mary. Here are some of the ingredients that you're going to be using over the next two weeks. So we have a lot of vegetables, especially the mushrooms, which are a great replacement for meat during this period. You've got your pestos, for example, vegan pestos. For snacks, peanut butter, you've got narilex, which is a vegetable spread instead of it being a dairy spread. Coleslaw, frozen foods, this garlic bread is vegan, it uses vegetable butter rather than dairy. You've got your mission wraps, you've got pastas, rices, hummus, <laughs> sauces, and all this snack area and different condiments that you can use that are all vegan friendly that will help you through the fast. Today's recipe is basil pesto gnocchi and here are the ingredients you will need. Traditional gnocchi, sakla vegan pesto, so make sure you get the one that says free from gluten, dairy and wheat because there's two types. Pine nuts and some olive oil. Always remember to wash your hands first. Add some salt to boiling water and then add the gnocchi. Be careful of the boiling water. Once it brings to the boil, you strain it. In the same saucepan, so that you don't have to have too much jelly, add some olive oil, add the pine nuts, keep stirring it because they get brown very quickly, and once they've gotten a little bit brown, add the pesto. Stir it through quickly, and then add the gnocchi. And there you have it. Join us tomorrow for fettuccine in red sauce. Blessed Dormition Fast.